Revelation 1890, from the 17th of April 1941. Spiritual Flattening Earthly Violence The most unmistakable sign of a spiritual flattening is the inclination and the desire for the goods of this world. If humanity only knows this striving, spiritual wisdom can hardly be spread among it, for it has nothing whatsoever to do with earthly successes and is consequently not desirable either. But it can never be assumed that spiritual striving could be evaluated earthly. Only where all desire for matter is suppressed can spiritual striving be crowned with success, that is the working of the spirit in the human being also become visible. But if humanity only has a mind to increase earthly prosperity, the working of the spirit in the human being is automatically forbidden, and the result is spiritual darkness, often to such an extent that the working of the spirit instead of divine expression of strength is regarded as human machination and therefore little attention or faith is paid to it. There are only very few courageous children of God who nevertheless advocate what they have become aware of through spiritual experience, but these few will speak as if with the tongues of angels, even though they will be called to account by the earthly power because of their opinion. Nothing else is to be expected at a time when people are almost on the brink of destruction and thus the believers alone will not be able to do anything about them and will almost become despondent until the Lord himself unexpectedly expresses himself, and this in an obvious way. People's spiritual shallowness is recognizable by the ignorance which speaks from every word as long as they take part in a conversation which wanders into the spiritual realm. They lack all concepts and do not dwell long on what they have heard but regard the time spent on it as a waste of time. Consequently, they will never make any progress, since they lack all knowledge, but in their stubbornness they also do not accept any teachings. There are only a few exceptions who immediately recognize the truth when it is offered to them. And indeed, with those people the desire for earthly possessions will not dominate their thinking so much even though they still consider it the most important thing in earthly life. These are people for whom earthly possessions, no matter how great, are no longer enough and who therefore occupy themselves of their own accord with thoughts which project into the kingdom of the beyond. If spiritual truth is then presented to them, the good forces of the beyond will help them by influencing their thoughts and thus guide them towards knowledge. The word of God must be proclaimed everywhere, even if the resistance is very great and apparently no progress can be achieved. Where the divine word is offered, people of good will can also recognize it as the word of God because it speaks to them themselves. There the spiritual law is not so alarming either, that is not entirely hopeless, for these people are willing and open to instruction coming from above. Amen.